Jeff. Come on, boys. Let's go in the yard. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good morning, everybody. I'm not wearing my usual morning attire. We're going for a bit of a, a cruise today. Taking the boys, the big guys, out for a run. Chevy, would you like to go for a ride? Yeah. Can you hear that, Diesel? Diesel, you want to go for a ride? Move for a ride? First, before we go anywhere, I think a few people need their breakfast. What do you think? Hey, you want some breakfast? You hungry? You hungry, fella? Hungry, fella? What's your stories for us today? Huh? Any great war stories? Huh? Nothing? Don't harass me, man. You don't know what I'm capable of. Diesel! Are you hungry? I'm very hungry, man. Look at me, I'm wasting away here. Chevy? Sit if you're hungry. Okay. 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 I guess that's a sign. A three out of four. Majority rules, man. It's a democracy. You get breakfast. Okay. Breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. Any compliments for the chef? No? Not right now? How's it tasting so far? Nothing? Every adventure begins with Timmy's. And once again, I realize how dirty the inside of my windshield is when the sun is shining right in my face. A large candy cane white hot chocolate. Half. Yeah, half coffee, please. Half coffee. Half coffee. And a hash brown. And a hash brown with that. And could I get a large coffee with one cream, please? That's it. Super duper. That Dodge behind us, this I diesel engine. Is so is those Dodge trucks. That's exactly what it sounds like. Hey, at least he didn't have his tow mirrors out though. I gotta give him props for that. No?
dogs everywhere. Diesel's over there. Oh, he's found himself a little corner. Give him some privacy. So we came to Kings Park in South Winnipeg. There's a lot of dogs here. <laughs> this is an off-leash dog park. Hey, Diesel. You having fun? Yeah, you make lots of new friends? What's their names? No time. <laughs> so this park is uh, on the south, well, southern part, just off, you gotta sort of get here off Pembina, and it's hidden away in a little uh, crescent along the Red River. This is my heaven! There's so many golden retrievers. Lots. <laughs> At one point, they all came together in one big pack, and I couldn't tell which one was Chevy. <laughs> he's got a different coat, but he's the same color. Come on, Chev! Come on, Chev! Come on, Chevy! Come on, buddy! Come on, bud! Show us what you got! <laughs> Diesel's doing a lot better than he used to. A lot better. But he's older now, so he, he runs out of energy faster. And he's wiser. And he's wiser, too, wiser. yeah. It's nice to be able to let them socialize. Do you smell like a dog? You smell like a dog. But there's no dogs in here. Did you find? These dogs? Where? So, like we were saying, this is King's Park Off Leash Dog Park. It is open to the public, groups less than five, and uh, obviously just clean up after your dog. Clean up after your dog. <laughs> and only bring your dog if they are friendly. I cannot stress that enough. All the People. dogs here today were great. They were amazing, every last mm -hmm. one of them. Yeah. Sometimes people bring uh, their dogs to the park before they're ready. Like Diesel, for the first like six, seven years of his life, he was not ready. Mm -mm. Couldn't take him there. He wouldn't attack other dogs, but he also wouldn't leave their junk alone. And uh, he would obsess. But he did really well today. It's because he's older, he gets tired so fast. See that big blue sign off to the right there? This is where I bought this truck from. Murray Chevrolet, or where I leased it from. I bought it over at Birchwood, but... Hunter's coming in here, he's looking at some trucks. Don't let Teddy see me, because he's going to sell me a truck right away. I'm going to have to fight Teddy, and I like Teddy. I don't want to fight No, him. don't fight. Teddy's a good guy. Yeah, but if he tries to convince you to buy a truck, I'm going to have to. He's a great salesman. He's always calling me. So, when are you buying your new truck? <laughs> Not yet, Teddy. Not ever. <laughs> Not for a long time. We just paid this one off. But I want to come and... Uh, park beside one of these. Like here, this is a good good example. We're gonna park right beside this one. I wanna show you guys how much higher these trucks are than mine. So you'll have to excuse the fact that my truck is once again filthy. 
we're gonna wash it on the way home. There's no point in washing it now because it's gonna get, gonna get dirty on the way home again. But look at the height difference on here, okay? This is my truck. From here, they actually do look close to the same height though, right? Mine's just filthy. So this one here, it's like what, up to my shoulder here? And you go to this tailgate over here, it's definitely a few inches higher. Definitely a few inches higher. And I like this back end a little more. The box is a lot wider than mine. Well, I've got a cover on mine. The only thing I wish I had was a full cab like this, just for the dogs. So the dogs had more room in the back. I've just got the regular work truck, double cab. Well, I mean, it works, right? It works. This is the uh, front end I would want as well. The LED headlights in there like that. These trucks are dirty too. I'm gonna have to call Teddy. They need to wash their trucks. Teddy, your trucks are dirty. Dirty trucks. And then my hood is definitely a lot lower. Can you look at it from here? Definitely. And I still don't like that they took three inches off the hood in the front. Even though they put it into the cab to make the cab bigger, I like the longer hood. Well, if the windows were clean, we could see in. <laughs> I'm bugging Teddy because they watch my videos in here. Uh, Teddy and the uh, the guys who work in there. But her dad works at a different Chevy dealership. So. Nice trucks though, right? I don't know, what do you guys think? Is it time for an upgrade? <laughs> no. Let's go get Teddy. No. Teddy! No. No? No. He is a great salesman though, so if you do come to Murray Chevrolet, I'll give him a shout out. Ask for Teddy. Tell him Trucker Josh sent you. He'll set you up in something real nice. For now, we're gonna stick with this one. And the terrain. And the terrain. We like having no vehicle payments. Right it is now. so nice. <laughs> I've never had no vehicle payments since I've had vehicles. It's like we have all this extra money in the account and we're just waiting for it to leave the account, but it just stays. Just sits there and you're just looking at it, you're like, don't you got somewhere to be? Look at all this Chevy goodness. Oh, see, that's what we need. We need a plow. I agree. We don't even need one that fancy, but just something for the front of the truck to push the snow. Here's one of these new 2500s, Z71. Oh. So while we're in town here, we can knock off a few of the 101 roadside attractions. There's several in Winnipeg. I'm gonna knock off three in southern Winnipeg right now. We go take a look. So let's say we've been there, cross them off the list, and head home for the evening. It's a good day out. Nice Indeed. Sunday. I agree. There it is. It's a kettle of sorts. And this is a new transit uh, development area here uh, for the rapid transit. I've, I've never actually been here. Neither have I. Quickly run around. This is the Beaumont Station Rapid Transit. They put a kettle here. I don't know what it's for, but maybe there'll be a plaque. It's pretty cool though. There it is. <laughs> I'm gonna get out and go take a look at it. That's a lot of tea. <laughs> There it is, the Beaumont Station Kettle. This must be like the newest one on the list. I don't know, but it's so cool. This, it wasn't even on Google Maps yet. Looks like it's pretty muddy here. Oh, yeah. yeah, they literally just put it in. It's all mud. It's soil. Yeah, well, I guess um, we can go. It might be old. It doesn't look too wet. It's pretty dry. Huh, just a random kettle. Tea! Hey! Must be a very British neighborhood. Must be. <laughs> cool, well, let's get our picture and we got two more yet. Alright. Have any of you been to this one already? It's not on Google Maps yet, so you gotta come find it yourself. So we just ran into a friendly local here who was going for a walk and said he said that the story of the kettle is on the bus shack. So Rooster Town Kettle. Rooster Town, also known as Pekin Town was a Métis Road allowance community that existed on the outskirts of Winnipeg from 1901 to 1961. At its peak, it housed 59 families and a population of 250 people. Some families called Roostertown home for three generations. 
Much of Rooster Town's housing started out as simple one and two bedroom structures, and over time additions were made, the houses were said to rise up out of the tall prairie ga grass. In this tight-knit community, knock at the door was always greeted with a welcoming call and a place to sit, promptly followed by the kettle being put on for tea. Huh. So if you guys want to read through the rest of this, I will, there you can pause it and hopefully you can read the rest of that, or you can Google it. That's pretty cool. It says there in 1959, city of Winnipeg ordered that the houses of Roostertown be torn down and its residents evicted to make way for Grant Park Mall. That's rude. Grant Park School and the expanding city neighborhood of Fort Rouge. Roostertown residents were consistently maligned in local media during the lead up to the eviction. Aww. This media campaign of stigmatization inaccurately and unfairly portrayed the character and lifestyle of people in the community while working to justify their removal. Thanks. Propaganda. So that's interesting. Yeah, it's a newer one. I never even knew about that, and I'm from here. The more you know. Rooster Town Kettle was made large enough to boil the minimum amount of daily water needed to sustain a population of 250 people. <laughs> that's so cool. Neat. Huh. It's to uh, observe the human right to water and sanitization. That's what it what it uh, represents. Oh, neat. Cool. Very cool. It was, uh, looks like it was made by Ian August in 2019 out of stainless steel and paint. Were you trying to drink mom's candy cane white hot chocolate? Won't even look at us. <laughs> Guilty as charged. So, uh, seeing as this vlog is getting pretty long already, we're just gonna go see one more site today. I did learn something new today though. I never knew, what was it called again? Rooster Town? Rooster Town Kettle. Yeah. Rooster Town Kettle. And uh, they were known for always, I guess, being friendly and hospitable. always having, yeah, ho and hospitable. They always had a kettle on for you when you came to visit. That's a good thing. I yeah. like tea. That's pretty cool. Just the more you know. Google it and research it yourself, man. There's stuff that uh, we don't even know about the province we live in and the city. Maybe you're from Winnipeg. Did you know about Rooster Town? I've never heard of it. I was born and raised in Winnipeg and I never knew about Rooster Town. And I went to school in St. Boniface from uh, grade eight to 12. Never heard of it. That's cool. Okay, so we got one more site that we're gonna go see and then we're gonna call it a day and go home. Our boys need a nap. Yeah, they need a nap. We can save some for another time. Especially Diesel, he's back there. He can barely keep his eyes open. <laughs> There's a guy rocking out. Oh, he's gonna go across the street now. He was dancing on the street. Corner. Oh, he's still dancing as he walks. Yeah. <laughs> it's not dancing Gabe, is it? No. Yeah. Oh, and he's singing, he's singing too. too. <laughs> You're my hero, buddy, whoever you are. Keeping that Christmas spirit alive. So again, neither of us have ever realized this was even here. What? You never seen it? No. I drove past here all the time. I lived here most of my life. And I've never seen that there. I don't think there's a plaque or anything here for this one. It's just a football. Just, just a football coming under the wall. Try to get it from the other side so that the sun's not blocking us, but there it is. <laughs> Looks like someone made a nest up in there at one point. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's a bird's nest in there. <laughs> Needs a little bit of maintenance, but it still looks good. Pretty neat. The more you know. The more you know. Huh. Learning more about Winnipeg each time. <laughs> cool. Well, we'll get our picture and we'll be on our way home. No plaque for this one, unfortunately. No, there's no reason it's here as far as I know. It's just there. We have to Google, is there something on this side? Nope. It's just there. How many of you have never noticed that there before that drive past here regularly? Have any of you noticed it? Let me know. Guys, hey. Hey, I'm here too. Hi. Dad, did you know mom's getting in the truck? She's on the other side, look. She's right here. <laughs> mom's there. You see this? You see this? Mom. <laughs> Hi, mom. I love how I'm just invisible. But that's Sorry, okay. Honey. She's got that mother, mother vibe with them. She's mom. 
queen bee. It's only because I'm a sucker and I give them everything they want. True. <laughs> yeah. All right, so if you want to find these as well and keep up with the ones we're crossing off, the, the website, I'll try to leave that down below. It's uh, 101 roadside attractions in Manitoba. So we're just in Winnipeg right now. There's attractions all around Manitoba that we're checking off. And this one was at the uh, Pembina Hotel, right? Yeah. It doesn't give me an address here, but it's right at the corner of Jubilee in Pembina. The bottle shop. The bottle shop, yeah, right by the vendor. And the other one was on Parker Avenue at the new Rapid Transit Station on Georgina Street. Beaumont Station, right? Beaumont Station, yeah. It's not even on Google Maps yet, so you'll have to... Uh, it just looks like an open field in Google Maps. Cool. All right, well, that's all the fun for today. Starting to lose our natural light. It's time to go home. Watch more Christmas movies. Watch more Christmas movies. Absolutely. We, we haven't watched the Santa Claus yet. Home Alone. Home Alone 2. We gotta get on that. I can't believe we haven't watched Home Alone yet. I know. Those they made way too many Home Alones though. After Colin, what's his name, right? Colin McCulkey? Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin? McCulkey. Culkin? Cacul <laughs> that guy? Macaulay Culkin. That guy. Once they took him out of there, it was over. Like, no, that's not Home Alone anymore. No, they should have branded it something else. But, ah, well. Maybe we'll watch them anyway, just if we run out of Christmas movies to watch. We won't. <laughs> All right, boys. Let's go back home. So we just got home and we got this new gingerbread house from Cynthia, Brit's stepmom. She used to sell party lights. So it's like a party light. Oh, I get it. You see, it's got little holes on the top here and stuff. You put like a tea light in there and it, it glows all Christmassy. It glows. That is, that is nice. That is nice. And we're going to put it right here. But we had a Christmassy candle here before, so now we have a new dilemma. Where'd you put the candle? Oh, over there. Oh, now it's over here. I just moved some of the decorations down into the shelves because they had free spots. Can we light it? Yeah. Let's light it. It's sure. a Christmassy. What scent is it? Uh, sugared snickerdoodle. Mm. I think. Oh, Santa's workshop sugared snickerdoodle. Yeah. This is what I got you for Christmas last year, right? Yep. You got me a oh. whole bunch of these, so we're still working through them, but. This one smells amazing. I'm not a vanilla girl, but this is like vanilla, cinnamon, and cookie dough. Take a good whiff. Take a good whiff. Don't burn yourself, though. Yeah. Doesn't that smell good? How many of you just leaned closer to your monitor to try to smell that? Be honest. I hope all of you. And that's all we got for you guys today. It's a fun day, it's a full day, but I uh, had a lot of fun. Discovered a new dog park in Winnipeg that we really like. I'd encourage you guys to go check it out. If you guys got dogs and you're in the southern part of Winnipeg, 
We're gonna go check out a few other dog parks yet throughout the week. Uh, I don't know. If we'll do probably not tomorrow. Uh, we're probably gonna go out to our spot tomorrow, or uh, we might go hiking out uh, in Sandylands nearby here. There's a couple of really nice hiking trails. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. But uh, anyways, thanks for joining us today. Really appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up button if you're still watching and you really like the video. Really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe. I have a second channel. You can find it down below if you want to watch gaming content. In the evenings, I sometimes hang out live and uh, game with you guys, hang out with you guys. Uh, right now, we're playing American Truck Simulator. And other than that, all of my links down below in the description, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all below every video. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. And we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when tomorrow's vlog goes live.